Hello and welcome back to Transports Viva Series 2, The Great Lakes. Thank you very much for joining me in this episode. Last time out, we finished off our freight routes from Thunder Bay, uh, something that we'd been trying to do for a long, long time. But finally, we managed to get it done. And as you can see, it runs alongside and then over the pas passenger route, uh, then some distance away from the passenger route, tries to wind its way a little bit around some of the mountains, through a few hills. Uh, this this section here was a right pain, and as you can see, there's still a slight bump there, but nothing that uh, we can't handle. Not not quite yet, anyway. I'm sure I'm going to at some point go, nope, I want that fixed. Uh, but, okay. Slight bumps there, too. Yeah, we're going to have to have, get those fixed at some point, and then we uh, we ran it in here, and then we had our two different ways that we could possibly go. So, what are we going to be doing in this video? Well, we're going to be setting up the first routes to go in and out of Thunder Bay, and we're going to be trying to run iron and wood there. So make sure you stay tuned for the next, uh, I'm going to say this is going to be about 20... I think it's going to be 20-25 minutes setting up everything and then in the next episode we're probably going to do a long ride along from the depot all the way out to the first journey and then back. So make sure you stay tuned for this episode and the next and of course every other episode for more Transport Fever The Great Lakes Fun. Autosave. Okay, continuing on, so what we're going to do first of all is we're going to ensure that each one of these has um, a standard crossover on it. That way we can actually get them in and out correctly. So that's the first task for today. Crossover. There, there and there. Fantastic. Next up we need to see where these lines are actually going. So we've got them coming out like that, and then they run as four, and that's fine. Then they run as four all the way along. I could have made these two. Now, we've got to remember that the two on the inside or outside, what on earth it, is it? They go into Sousa Marie, the other two do not. So, these four tracks, these four tracks are going to be going into Sousa Marie. These two are not going to be going into Sault Ste. Marie. Now that's interesting because we might need to change that over at some point to allow four tracks to be going everywhere else and then two tracks going into Sault Ste. Marie. But anyway, that's that part set up. Next up, I think we need to put some road, some roads in. Um, where are we going to put these roads in? See, I would ideally put them there. That's how. That's where I would put them, but that's not going to pan out correctly I could put it here in fact that's probably a reasonable place to put a road that's actually a very reasonable place to put a road so we're going to do that good uh, let's use these ones no no uh, definitely not alright well I guess this is it Done. Right, smooth this area out. Ta-da. All done. Good. Uh, the airport probably is going to get bigger as well. Maybe. Actually, maybe not. Uh, we'll see. We should definitely have to see. Uh, right. Uh, that goes there, that goes there. Now, does that reroute? It does immediately reroute these guys. They prefer to go that way as opposed to across this bridge. Which, I mean, is, is fine by me. But we're going to completely reroute them. And we're going to have them going into this place. Or are we? Is it wiser to do that? Or is it wiser to... Because then I guess we could start clearing up some of these boats. And what I would like to do is I would like to get rid of this freight. Yeah, get rid of the freight here and replace that with a passenger. And then have the passengers going in and out. That's my that's my overall goal. So that's what I think we're going to do. 
Let's go ahead and grab the ones we can see. You're the one we're looking at. We are no longer going to the annex. We are going to Lower Thunder Bay. Great. Okay, now let's set up a route. Uh, we're going to call this... Oh, what do I normally call them? No, I don't call them S. Let's call them S. Okay. It's normally just FR. And it, that's Susan Marie Wood, St. Louis is Susan Marie Coal. Um, this is going to be Thunder Bay to Susan Marie uh, Freight. I'm just going to do that because I, I am probably going to have something else running on it as, uh, as well as just. Oh, that's a good question. Should I just have iron running on one? Aha. Many things to think about. I'm going to actually create a second route as well. Okay, so we're going from there to there. Right, how do you run? You run on a single line because you don't have a crossover. Okay. Crossovers are easy. Easy peasy. There's a crossover. Uh, no, it's not because of crossover. It's probably because of a lack of signals. Let's get a a little uh, you. You go there. Let's put the dwarf signals in at before each one of these. One, two, and three. Then let's start replacing them with normal signals. Now, if I'm correct, somebody told me that these are the ones that they still use in Canada. I don't know, but I'm going to try them. There we go. Let's fix it. I'm not going to put these very, very close to each other. They're going they're actually going to be at quite a distance. Well actually I don't know. I haven't decided that now. Now I'm going to have to work that out. Is that right? That's right. I'm basically doing it every bridge, aren't I? Oh sorry, every tunnel. One, two, three. That's pretty good actually. And the last one can go here. That's not... Actually, that's pretty good. That's worked out. That's actually worked out fairly evenly. Yeah, that, that's actually worked out fairly evenly. Right. So, moving on from that, uh, we need to... Should I put... Should I put the... Ooh, okay. Maybe I should... No, I'm just thinking out loud now. What if I put these ones in as well? I mean, we, we may as well. So we're not we're not having to double up and forget about things, or we we realise that it's not working because of reason X, Y, or Z. But at least if it doesn't work at some point on the other lines, we can say. The reason it's not working is because, um, or at least we can we can eliminate. Yeah, we can definitely eliminate the worry of it being this. So we can say that no, it's not. It's not to do with this. There we go. Good. Right. So that's in. Uh, then all this section we're going to have to work out afterwards. But that at least is in. So we've got our first route into Susan Marie. And we've got, yeah, platform two to platform one. Sure. I could put a crossover here too. I've got a new idea. What's that? Invisible signal. No. No invisible signals for me, please. 
Uh, that there. Please don't be too much curvature. You're not. What if I stuck in a little little dwarf signal? Can you can you then switch over to platform? Not that platform four. You can switch over to platform four, but you do something incredibly odd as you do so. I guess we need another signal here. But, oh, right, okay. So this isn't, this isn't brilliant. This, this junction, this connection isn't brilliant. Tell you what, let's quickly rebuild this section. Let's rebuild this section because I'm, I'm not I'm not too happy with it. And we can reconnect these things afterwards. There's nothing that comes into it. So we're going to go what is it? This one coming in. Yeah, why did it ask me to confirm the destru destruction of that? Not too sure. And that area is all but dead. There we go. So it's just the one route that's still confused, but that's okay because now what we're going to do is we're going to... Yeah, we'll run this like so. And then connect it up. So in, in the exact same way. But then what we're going to do is we're going to do this. So now it's slightly different. There's that. And also we can do... Can we do this? No. No, of course we can't. Yes, we can. We can. We... No. No, we can't. Yes, we can. Like that. And then we can... Yeah, then we can bring the crossovers in once again. Too much slope. Too much slope, my Aunt Petunia. It's not too much slope at all. Too much slope. Too much slope. It's flat. It's not flat. Why is it not flat? What's happened here? Get lost. Fine, you want too much slope? We're going to give it the tiniest one ever then. Too much piece of junk. Right, so clearly it, it doesn't want to play. Clearly it doesn't want to play at all. So since it doesn't want to play, we're going to do this our way. Um, I'll do these two first. Now, if there's ever any warning about too much slope through that, I, I don't know what to tell them. I will have no words. Because that there cannot have too much slope. There we go. Good. Now all we've got to do is just connect this up. Now, I tell you what we'll do. Similar sort of setup, but... Nope, don't, don't, don't connect, don't connect. That's it. Right, you can't have too much slope. It's impossible. You have no slope. Thank you. All right. Too much slope. 
everywhere you look, there's just too much slope. Why can't we have nice things? Um, why does this not work? That looks not exactly as I want it. That's um, annoying. But on the on the other hand, we at least have this cleared in. So we've got four platforms that we can use there. We've got four platforms that we can use here. Can we use them here? Yes, we can. Right, so what we're looking at is we're trying to get an iron train and a wood train, potentially. So... I'll leave it as one for now. The second line will probably go in at some point. And so that should supply iron here, which should increase the amount of coal that we get here, which should increase the amount that gets sent out from there. Yes. Yes, that, that makes sense to me. Now, what else do we need? What else do we need on this? We need a way for these to swap over or swap in. I feel like this is going to ruin everything. Too much slope. What do you know? That's actually really smooth. How is it that that ended up smooth? Why did that end up smooth, but nothing else ever ends up smooth? That's beautiful. That's how it should have been the whole time. Right. Now the question is, is are we going to have a way to get the train across if we need to? It, yeah, it's going to have a way. I tell you what, just forget line one for now. Bye-bye, line one. Okay, good. So we've got that. So now what we need to do is we need to pop down here. Oh, actually, the first thing we need to do, go back up here. How many of these trucks do we have? And they're all Volvos, aren't they? Vehicles. We have loads of them and they're all, there's 16 of them. And they're 37 years old. Let's get them replaced. Where's our good old Studebakers? There we go. That's what I want. Studebaker in bright green. Replace now. Thank you. So that's going to be 16 Studebakers that are now going to be running to this place only. That should be pretty good. That should be pretty good. So what we are going to do is we are going to go all the way down to St. Louis where our depot is. And right, where, where do we need this to come out from? That's one? No. Where do I want it to go? We need it to go through this. Here we go. So it's these two platforms, which is these two here, which go around there, around there, around there, across there. It's where this one's coming out from. That makes sense because that's going for something else. Yep, yeah, there we go. Right, okay, so we need to find it. Uh, let's see. Let's find the right train. A nice big diesel locomotive. Probably. Probably our best bet. Locomotives. Uh, diesel. What comes under multiple units though? Uh huh, uh huh. A bunch of reversed ones. 
Why do I have an A4? Uh, yeah, let's just go for standard locomotives. Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on a tick. What about an Alco for Canadian National? Sioux Line, Sioux Line, hang on a minute. Isn't the Sioux Line actually the actual one that was Sioux Saint Marie, was it? I can't remember. Well, more like I don't know. I'm just guessing. I think it is. I I think. Yeah, here we go. Hold on, I'll I'll read this. The Sioux Line Railroad is the primary United States Railroad subsidiary of Canadian Pacific. Although it's named for Minneapolis, St. Paul, and Sault Ste. Marie Railroad. Uh, which was commonly known as the Sioux Line after the phonetic s spelling of Sioux. It was formed... Okay, yeah, yeah, we're not, we're not worried about that. I just want to know where it sort of operates. Um, yeah, sure. I can run Sioux Line. Yeah, I think I'll run Sioux Line. There we go, done. So we'll run one of... I think we'll run these. Yep, this works for me. Uh, so how are we going to run these? I think we'll go pick some some of... Uh, we'll find it, find it, find it to end the episode. There we go. Uh, we'll save this just in case it all goes wrong. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Okay. I think we'll have a something like that. Actually, we don't need. We'll have two at the front. Then we'll go for some freight wagons. Okay, so what are we carrying? Iron ore, isn't it? Uh, what carries iron ore? Apart from the Pennsylvania Railroad cars, which um, we're not going to be using for this. What carries iron ore? Hoppers. No. Flat cars, no. These do. Do they carry iron ore? No, they don't. Open wagons, okay. British Columbia Railway. I think we could use those. I don't think there's anything too wrong. And we can use some of the Canadian national ones. Uh, what else do we have? We have a few of these hoppers. Yeah, I think that's it. There's, there's our combination. Good. Okay. Uh, that carries 18. We're going to use these ones, though. Even though these are probably the, the better ones overall. But we're going to use these sorts of gondolas. Uh, open wagons or gondolas? We'll use the gondolas. Here we go. So, uh... Oh, well done. Here we go. And then we're going to add some of the Canadian national ones. Let's add a couple of Canadian nationals. We'll add... Um, should I add a couple of Penn Central ones to say that, you know, there, there were a few left over? I think we can add a few of those. A couple more of them. Um, Erie? You could use the Erie one. Sure. Fear those. Keystone. Black Keystone. No, we're not. We're not going to do that. Let's uh, finish it off with a few more of these. Uh, Six hundred meters is what we're looking for, isn't it? So we'll go for that, and then I guess we can add a few. Of the, oh, not that. Five hundred eighty-one. Wow. Uh, what if I did that then, and then another one of those? 586 and then 603 bother um, all right so 586 meters it is and that's where I'm going to end this video uh, I guess we add that end 
that works for me. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe to the channel for more videos on uh, Transport Fever Series 2, The Great Lakes, and then Series 3, The Great Western Railway. Leave a comment in the comments box below letting me know what you think. That's... Uh, this is looking pretty good. In the next episode, we're going to be running those trains. So let's take a screenshot of this area. Nice little screenshot of the re remade area. We're going to be running those trains in the next episode, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Don't forget to support me on Patreon, www.patreon.com slash ecgadget. Your supports would be massively, massively appreciated. I think that is all from me, and I'll see you guys next time in Transports Fever Series 2, The Great Lakes.